Hey people, welcome to the show, welcome to the channel. I hope all of you are doing well. Today is, is a member day of this game, Detroit Become Human. I, I am very sorry I had to take off yesterday, uh, but I'm back and I'm ready to play some more. Let me just load up the game here and then it can get started. There we go. Now, now this is part 12 of my of my playthrough, so I hope you all are enjoying it as much as I am. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to call this one yet. We, we will see as the time goes by. So... Yeah. Each, in my opinion, each, each Quantic Dream game always gets better and better. Hello. Let's see what decisions you'll make today. Yes. Thank you. I detect a malfunction in my program. This is worrying. Okay. Well, she figures that out. We we can. Uh, See what we can get into with everybody in the game. Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night and he got attacked by deviants. They found his body early this morning. He was executed in cold blood with his own service weapon. He became a father three months ago. Fuck. Why did it have to be him? I didn't know Officer Miller well, but... He seemed to be a good person. Yeah. I'm sorry, Lieutenant. I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? She gets your program checked. Might be a glitch. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson. Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. Oh, 
I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Nice girl. You're right. She's really pretty. Nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? It doesn't raise any existential questions, if that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Amanda. Elijah, we'll see you now. Mr. Kamsky! Just a moment, please. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't that ironic? We need to understand how androids become deviants. Do you know anything that could help us? All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that will be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Whose side are you on?
I have no side. I was designed to stop deviants, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? I'm sorry, but I don't see what you're getting at. Chloe? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, we'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation, or the life of this android. Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you want to know. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm... I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You were always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay?
I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I like it here. I come here often. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. I just can't stop thinking about those two policemen. In that moment, I held their lives in my hands and I treated them just the way the humans treat us. I mean, I did exactly what I accused them of doing. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Humans aren't going to give us anything unless we take it. It's up to us to decide how far we're willing to go to get what's ours. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can't live together. What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you're looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. There, now you know everything. too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North! This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally gonna show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. 
They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. There are androids here who can join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. You're free. You're free. You're awake now. You are free. Chosen to be free. You're free. I need to block the street.
me! That's an order! I got a lot of androids down here. I don't know, hundreds, thousands. Of... They're marching. Yeah, they're marching down the street. Fuck if I know. here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings. All we want is to live free. This is an illegal gathering. Disperse immediately or we will open fire. We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! Marcus, don't choose confrontation. Follow me!
You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Look, we just need more time, I'm sure we... Hank, you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. return to cyber life. Wait! I can solve this case! I just need more time! It's too late, Connor. You failed. short on blue blood and biocomponents. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. We couldn't just suffer in silence. They're killing us. Nothing is going to justify that. was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Now hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? I need to think. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you.
I'll go join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Everyone, I'm gonna call it here for the day. Just wanted to to get part twelve done here for today. I'll be back tomorrow and I'll do some more. Um, I I am getting excited to. To see be be uh, be uh, uh, how this all turns out. Um, I I I really hope that uh, that Connor comes back. I'm really interested in seeing. How be be uh how be uh story progresses from here with between Connor and Nick. I I hope I didn't screw it, it all up. Uh, but come back tomorrow and f find out with me. Um. So so we we. We can find out together. Anyway, if you like this, don't forget to subscribe and follow to both of my channels, YouTube and Twitch. You, and if you want to see more, there's links below to my my. Twitch channel, um, but thank you for following and subscribing both, and, and to all of you who helped me reach 50 plus followers now, thank you so much to all of you. I really, really appreciate it, and I love you all. Thanks again. It means so much to me. I can't wait till I I have over 100 and then 150 and so on and so on. Being a, a, a content creator is something that is right in my wheelhouse and, and I'm so happy to do it for you, the people that, that I really care about and care about me as well. And to all of you who have joined me throughout the months and last three years, thank you for, for, for joining the, the Captain He Army. You guys are, are awesome, and what make makes this all possible? I love you all from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, and I will see you in my next with my next video tomorrow. Bye for now.